Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your reading. This is for health and finances and love, all right, relationships. This is a little bit different. I normally just do health readings by itself, but today I'm putting it in for the new year coming, all right, for January. Now, as I've always said, you know, it just ties back into my health readings that I do all by itself and people get confused. Not a lot. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen often. It's just once in a blue moon, I will get people commenting like they're, you know, they're confused. This is an odd reading. It's because you're not listening from the very beginning. The very beginning, I do say that when you have any injuries or anything affecting you physically, and even if it doesn't hit, whatever I'm saying is not for you physically, that's fine. So a lot of times the emotional part, because I also explain that it's emotions as well that affect you physically. And if you don't have any physical things, then listen to the emotions because it's still relevant. Okay. Regardless, it's relevant even with the physical stuff there. Okay. It all plays a role in how you feel. All right. That's how our bodies translate emotions into our, into our bodies, like in certain areas. Okay. And then I also go later on and I tell you what body parts you govern over. So I don't see why people are like, the, it's very rare. People are confused about that. Like it is definitely healthy. I, I give you physical, I give you emotional. And then I even go back and give you more physical things that, um, what body parts you govern over. So it's that they're not listening or they're just trolls. Okay. <laughs> so, but just like how I separated it, it's still, it's, you, just, you start to see it tie into each other. So let's just jump into your reading because I spoke long enough here. All right. So for the physical things, right, for your health reading, I got your back, like all of it, like your neck, your the back of your head, you know, if not your head itself, right, your, your entire back, so, and your arm and your hand, all right, so... Whatever parts of that resonates with you, let me know because that's what I got. And I got that it's an uh, injury or arthritis, okay? Injury or arthritis because I got that it's aggressive, okay? So with that being said, it starts to tell me why. You see what I mean? Like, it's either that you have... Um, people who follow me or who I actually connect with, like I, when I'm doing the reading, connect to happen to be a lot of people who are spiritual leaders, like have a spiritual role to play in this world. Okay. And if it's not that, that's fine. It could mean that you're a counselor, a teacher, you know, or people just seek advice from you all the time. Even if you're not these things, it's not like if it's not your career. Right. So Either that's what you are and that happened on the job, okay? You got injured on the job. So even if you're not that, I'm getting that you got injured on the job, okay? I also got for some of you, because remember it's a general reading, so I'm picking up different energy. I got from some of you that, you know, you've lost faith. Like you had this new job, it's a new career or a new path that you're on, right? Um, and it doesn't have to be work, but it's a new, something new for you, right, that you're on. And you lost faith because this injury happened. It's like, oh, I can't continue on now. Like, or oh, I have this severe arthritis. Like, remember, told arthritis. Like, you know, I have this issue. I can't move forward with this career. And that's not true. I'm seeing throughout this is to hold on. It's not what it seems like. You know, it's not what it seems like. Sharpen your mind, steady it, make it, you know, be balanced mentally. Um, stable okay because you're you're playing your mind is playing tricks on you it's not what it seems okay so do not lose hope in this okay you're not it's not all is not lost it will be if you continue to think this way okay it will be if you continue your thoughts this way it's you're gonna just then you lose everything and for those of you who did the small amount of you who did actually lose your job over this right? Um, it's okay. A new offer is coming in. I see a nice offer coming in for you. So all is not lost at the end of the day. Even if you lost your job over this, it's all is not lost. All is not lost. You will, you will get an offer coming in. All right. So don't worry about that. 
um it's the job you have is very good like it's it, it brings in a lot of good money so i can see why you're like oh all is lost i have this injury i can't continue on you can if you supplement you have to supplement because if it's all fatness, you can do this you can just supplement you can use i'm more natural so i'm going to tell you the supplement i'm going to tell you that you have you can use certain creams and put it on the, the spots that have the arthritis right um you can get massage of course i'm going to say that massage therapist here <laughs> so you can seek chiropractic help um and if you are if you don't mind medical things then fine i'm not going to tell you not to do it right do what you want to do but to to fix the problem seek help do not say all is lost you're letting your mind play tricks on you all right and like I said, if I don't resonate, then I don't resonate with you. It, it's like, for, these are, this is for people who I resonate with, okay? I know um, this happened to somebody, all right? All right, so for finances, like I said, you see, it ties right in. What's going on in your life emotionally affects you here too. You're holding on to this thing where I'm telling you is the injury. It could also be something else, right? Because we're moving on to finances. It could be something else that you're holding on to that you feel like you can't let go of, all right? For some of you, it is this injury. But for others others of you, it's going to be something else. So you, you feel like you're tied to something, but you have choices. You know, you do have these choices and you don't, you're scared to make them. Like I said, some of you are leaders, whether it be spiritual or not. You have a big leadership role, um, and whether it be a career path or not, it could be something that you do on the side for people, or you just, you know, you're very helpful, but this is finances. So it's, it's about your career, right? You, you have a choice here and I'm seeing that you are scared to take the, the leadership role. Sorry, the cats are going crazy. <laughs> the leadership role here. Okay. If you take the role of your life path is what I want to say. You can't go wrong, right? You can't go wrong. So if you're having a hard time choosing, meditate on it, but I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with, you actually know. I know you know, because I'm seeing that you're intuitive here. I know you know which what is your leadership, um, what is your life path role, okay? Your life path, career, your life path, period. I know you know, because you're, you're highly intuitive. So, but we're talking about finances. So I know you know your life path for your career, okay? Um, it'll make you happy. Your family will be financially stable. You guys will be joyous, okay? And it, it will come in quickly. The moment you choose the right path, which is your life path, the abundance will flow um, very quickly. The success, it won't take any time, okay? But you're stuck. You're stuck. You're like one foot in, one foot out. What should I do? What you know? You're very confused. Just meditate on it. You'll get the answer. Just think on it. Weigh the pros and the cons. You're going to see that you're going to do what you want to do. Um, and even if you see that you want to do this thing, you <laughs> do not throw yourself off here because you're, you're very easily uh, thrown off. Okay? You can see that it's your life path and you're like, oh, I'll be happier doing this. And then you're going to have a thought and you throw yourself off. Okay? Now let's move on to the love. The love is saying that either this is you here on the top or you're gonna this is someone like you. The rest of it is the the, the person that you're gonna be with, but this could be someone like you also on the top here because this is a fire sign energy of the king of wands, which what is a great big leadership role here. I'm telling you it's a leadership role throughout this thing, but your person could also be a fire sign as well and have this um leadership role also all right and could be also highly intuitive because you got the moon card here which is you highly intuitive i know it so but this could also be your person the rest of it is your person this person is very successful you know you're going to be able to receive instead of you always being the giver because this person is going to take care of you or you guys are going to share the responsibility okay all right, this person is going to be emotionally stable, but also a kind, caring person. Very kind and caring. 
Um, this is something that you've been waiting for for a long time. Someone just to finally come in and match you, match your energy, you know? Like, this is justice for you because in the past you've had some bad relationships, okay? And now you can finally take rest and know that this person is, you know, good for you. It's like, it's just your soulmate, you know, type of energy. This person, like I said, is going to bring in a lot of income, <laughs> a lot of money, and you and your family will be financially secured. And if you don't have children right now, your future, this is your future, right? You guys are going to be very financially secured and you work, work well together with your new partner here, okay? Yeah, this is a good look here for your relationship, okay? All of it is a good look. You just It's about choices, right? It's about choices. So for the advice, like I said earlier, it's the same thing where you got just hold on, hold on. Do not give up because it's, I see that it's your mind that's going to get you to the point of you failing or winning, okay? So hold on to hope that you know that an offer is coming in if you did lose your job or hold on to your job now. Don't think that it's over because if you take care of yourself, you can move on. And I think if it's a job where you're an employee, don't worry about that. They'll be understanding. They'll work with you. Um, if not, then it's your own business, right? And you can work around this. You can do it. Trust me. All is not lost. Your new journey is beautiful, okay? And it's, and maybe it's a rude awakening for some of you just to be more careful, be more mindful, because if it is an injury, then it's like this is harder than you thought, but it's not something you hate. You know what I mean? If, if you can be passionate about something and love something, and it could be hard, but is but you're still passionate and that's what's going to keep you going. So even if you have this big tower moment in your life, it's it's always for a reason. So take heed to the reason. Like think about it, meditate on it and see that the whatever happened to you is for a reason and just um work it out. I'm telling you it can be worked out. All right. You have this empress energy and it's not just gender it's not gender specific. Empress energy is just a great energy to have. Someone who can make things happen, make things grow is the boss, okay? And your love life is just looking good here. All right. So until next time, Sagittarius, peace and love to you. Bye.